Hello, everybody. Andrea here. So I've been a mobile dental hygienist since 2018, and I've been in the dental profession for almost 18 years now. I worked in the same office for 13 years. I moved a couple times, so then I did have to work in other offices. So I have definitely worked in offices, different types of offices, different types of staff, dentists. I worked for one dentist. I worked for four at the one time in the same office. So I definitely had experience in both. And if you're thinking about becoming a mobile dental hygienist, or you are one, or you're just thinking or are a dental hygienist with their own practice, with their own physical office space, and your concern is, well, the dentists aren't going to like it. The dentists are going to be mad at me for starting my own practice. Dentists are going to talk to patients about why is that hygienist doing that? I'm the dentist. You should be coming to me. You still need x-rays. No matter how you spin it, if you're concerned about what the dentist thinks, I'm here to tell you to get over that, okay? I always think about it the other way. So does the dentist care about me? Um, does the dentist think, oh, I wonder if this is going to be covered because it's not going to be covered for the dental hygienist. You know, maybe I should change my codes a little bit. I don't want the patient to get mad. I don't want to talk bad about the dental hygienist. Dentists don't think like that, okay? There's good dentists, there's bad dentists. As I'm sure there's good hygienists, there's bad hygienists. There's good dental professionals, there's bad dental, um, dental professionals. Not good or bad, that's not the term I mean, but you get what I'm saying, right? You're gonna love some, you're not gonna love some. The dentist isn't thinking about us, so why are we so concerned thinking about them? I've never been concerned thinking about them, but I've talked to many hygienists who are even just thinking about starting their own dental hygiene practice. And they say to me, yeah, I kind of mentioned it to the dentist. They're not happy about it. I'm still working in the office, so I don't want to step on toes. I want to do a little bit of both. I don't want to step on toes. So maybe I just won't do it. My answer to them is that's ridiculous. You know, I have never cared what other people think. Granted, it's normal to care, okay? It is normal. But are you going to change your life to work for a dentist making, I'm just going to pick a number, making $50 an hour, slaving away at the dental office, maybe getting a 30-minute lunch, maybe leaving by 5 o'clock, probably not. You're probably working 8 till 6, and then you still haven't done all of your chart notes, are you going to continue doing that just because you're worried about what the dentist thinks about you starting your own practice? If that is truly stopping you, then you're not meant to be a dental hygienist with your own practice. You're just not. When I first started, when I was thinking about doing mobile dental, um, mobile dental hygiene, I was absolutely still working at the dental office. I was seeing my clients on the side, but I didn't talk about my mobile dental hygiene business with clients at the dental office. Um, I didn't, you know, mix the two together. So it's not like I was trying to take their patients. It's not like I was telling the entire staff. They were the ones who happened to notice my Facebook page, my YouTube videos. And I just says, yes, I do mobile dental hygiene on the site. I didn't apologize for it. I didn't say, well, I know you're not going to like it, but I, I do it anyway. No, I just said, yeah, it's amazing. I do mobile dental hygiene on the side when I have time. Patients love it. Again, I didn't apologize for it. So, and I never got any pushback. I did not hear from staff or the dentist or friends, family, like, oh, are you sure you want to do that? The dentist isn't going to be happy. The dentist didn't say to me, oh, wait, you're going to take all my patients. You can't do that. The dentist actually thought it was pretty neat. She was like, oh my goodness, good for you. We have patients that need to be seen in their own home. I would love to give them to you. So it was completely different. And I had just started working there because I had just moved. So, you know, you have to really, if you give off the vibes of, I'm sorry, I'm thinking about starting my own practice. I'm sorry, I'm a mobile dental hygienist. Guess what you're going to get back, right? Staff are going to be confused. There are definitely staff members that are going to be confused. Dentists are going to be confused because that's just the world we live in right now, okay? Think about dentists, orthodontists, uh, periodontists, um, oral surgeons. 
they don't say, oh, you know, the other dentist is going to be mad if they're sending me all their patients. You know, we work together. We work together. I'm a dental hygienist. I clean teeth, among other things, but let's just keep it simple here. I clean teeth. Dentists do, you know, like root canals, surgeries, restorative, crowns, bridges, other things, right? The periodontist handles gum disease. The orthodontist handles braces. Dental hygienists do not have to work under the order of a dentist, of course, depending on where you live. But I'm just going to talk about Ontario for now. And there's many other, er many other areas too, but I'm currently in Ontario. So just to kind of keep it simple. We do not have to work under a dentist. I would much prefer to make my own money, set my own hours, say what I want to say to patients, build what I want to build to patients. Um, having my own hours is a huge thing. And being a mobile dental hygienist is such an amazing service. So my clients who want a mobile dental hygienist, they say to me, this is an amazing service because I don't have the time to go to a dental office. You're seeing my entire family of seven. This was so much easier to have you come to me than me go to the dentist. I still let them know you do still need your dental checkups. You do still need x-rays. I'm going to refer you when I see it's necessary. We work together. I do not say, oh, dentists are horrible. Don't trust them. Don't go to them. I say we work together just as in a dental office. You see the dental hygienist, you see the dentist. Only in this case, it's so much easier for you because you see, or I come to you. You see me, I refer you to them. So yes, two different places technically, but I'm coming to your home. So that's not a different place. You'd be there anyway. So you do have to be careful with how you word things as well, which I feel dentists have to be careful how they word things as well. Um, because they say things like, oh, why would you see a mobile dental hygienist? Like, why not just come here? We have dental hygienists on staff. I've had dentists say that to my patients, um, which you really shouldn't say that, right? Patients have the right to choose. So please, if you're concerned about what the dentist is going to think, what other staff is going to think, you're working in an office now, but you're scared to tell people, get that out of your head. Just do it, okay? Just do it, and you'll be amazed how you don't get pushback. You might, okay, from the odd person, maybe I was just super lucky, but I also don't listen to people. I do my own thing. If I listened to people, trust me, you guys, I wouldn't be where I am today. I started my own online tutoring company, oh my goodness, um, 18 years ago, around the same time. Um, online was not a thing, okay? Not everybody, I don't even think cell phones were a thing at that point. <laughs> so people were like online tutoring what's that about guess what fast forward it's an extremely successful company so I do things even if people don't agree with them because I agree with them it's what I want to do be that change and don't be concerned if you need a pep talk if you need my help please reach out to me you guys anytime having my own dental hygiene business is the most amazing thing ever ever. I'd like to say the most amazing thing I've ever done in my life. So I would not go back. I don't worry about what the dentist thinks. It's my business, my patients. They go to the dentist. That's just how things go, but we keep things separate. So let me know you guys if any questions. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.